I'm Sumner Fortenberry and I'm 16. I'm from Tupelo, Mississippi. When I was born, I, already just, I had this instilled passion for tractors. My mom would wince and say that uh, I said tractor before I said mama. And I figured the best way to drive tractors was to be a farmer. And so since about the age of one or two, I wanted to be a farmer. And recently I decided that sustainably farming is the best way to do it. I don't believe there anybody in my circle of friends that has anything to do with farming at all. In America, you have to change the whole culture. Everybody wants to eat at McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's. It's cheap, it's easy, it tastes good, but they don't really know what they're eating. It's just kind of an accepted evil. I mean, you have to really go into someone's head and say, listen, what you're doing is not right. It's not good for the earth, it's not good for you, it's not good for your community.
Uh, my name is Daniel Parson. I'm in Clinton, South Carolina, and I grow vegetables and cut flowers and shiitake mushrooms for direct marketing. Well, I think the, uh, the biggest hurdle for any farmer is changing the system in which you function because there are so many unknowns in farming and so many risks. It's really hard to make a change, and you have to really believe in it. And so that's, that's something I'm excited about is um, just bringing, bringing people together from all walks of life. And that's something that attracts me to sustainable agriculture because you, know, you don't find just one political opinion. You don't find just one type of person who wants to get into it. There's a lot of diversity. My name is Emily English and I work for Arkansas Children's Hospital Research Institute and the Department of Pediatrics at our medical school here in Little Rock. And I am currently the program manager for the Delta Garden Study, which is a uh, school garden childhood obesity prevention research study um, headquartered here in Little Rock, but we have school gardens in the central and delta regions of the state. And we are looking um, at the impact of those gardens on fruit and vegetable intake and physical activity, as well as academic achievement and the kids' connection to their school, their school bonding. I do this work because I want farmers to be honored and respected for the work that they do, and I want to make that uh, career and lifestyle viable for anyone and everyone who, who wants to do it. And we try to um,
Marty Mesh, Executive Director of Florida Organic Growers and Quality Certification Services, Gainesville, Florida. I think we all have to get involved, and there's place, there's there's pieces that we can all play. I think that there should be gardens in every school. I think kids should learn that that there's effects on the environment from the ways that they live or the choices that they make. I think that there's certainly a, a potential to draw in many times more farmers, whether we'll ever have enough clout to tilt the pendulum totally the other way to where organic is the norm, to where truly sustainable agriculture is the norm, um, remains to be seen. Um, at this point in my life, I'm working every day to make that, that tipping point happen.